forecast. New at 10, if we could make it rain, uh, would we do that? Well, scientists around the world and even in Arizona's neighboring states are already doing that. And now researchers are testing to see if cloud seeding could be a possibility here in Arizona. 12 News Journal. Arizona has been in a drought for 30 years. Experts don't predict that will change anytime soon, but researchers say a decades old technology could maybe improve conditions. A lot of times the clouds aren't the most efficient at producing precipitation or snowfall. Cloud seeding is a weather modification that improves a cloud's ability to produce rain or snow, according to the Desert Research Institute. But to understand cloud seeding, Arizona State climatologist Aaron Ann Saffel says one must first understand how precipitation works. The normal natural process in the atmosphere to get precipitation, to get rain and snow. You got to get those droplets bigger so that they fall down under the force of gravity. Sometimes nature can't make the droplets big enough on its own. So scientists discovered when a storm system is moving through, a compound called silver iodide can help nature along. What that does is it draws more moisture and makes those droplets a little bit bigger so that they'll fall down under the force of gravity. Like any perfect storm, a number of factors must first fall into place for cloud seeding to exist. You're kind of limited to kind of high elevation areas where you have mountain barriers. So the geography is right, the elevation is right, and then you have frequent winter storms that have the clouds that are favorable for cloud seeding. James Walter, the manager of water management at SRP, says there aren't many places in Arizona that fit that mold. But with the Desert Research Institute, they found the White Mountains could be an ideal location for cloud seeding. From the past uh, winter storms that we analyzed was that 80% of them had conditions that were favorable for cloud seeding over the White Mountains. Walter says cloud seeding typically increases snowfall by about 10%. The snowfall turns into snow pack that melts into runoff and fills rivers and reservoirs, all of which could benefit the surrounding region. There have been some wonderful studies recently out of Wyoming and Idaho that have been um, giving some pretty definitive proof that that the technology and the science works. Saffel says she thinks there's still more to learn about this emerging science. There's a lot of things that that we don't understand about cloud seeding. And so, you know, forcing that precipitation, is it always going to happen? No. Um, we're putting the ingredients together in the atmosphere to try and get precipitation, but there's no guarantee if that's going to happen. But researchers are hopeful it could one day lead Arizona in a wetter direction. It's not on the table at the moment, but for sure this study is definitely positive for the area that we looked at. In Phoenix, Gabriela Becura, 12 News. Gabby, thanks. Still ahead.